Once, Sayyidina Suhaib Rumi radiallahu ta'ala an had an eye infection. So, he was feeling pain and he was picking and eating fresh dates. The beloved Prophet of Allah, last Prophet, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, smiled and said, O oh, Suhaib, you're suffering from ophthalmia, pain due to eye disease, and you're eating dates. So all of a sudden, he replied, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, actually, I'm not eating from that side where I have pain, rather I'm eating from other side. After listening to this reply, a happy environment was created there, and people present there were smiling. He radiallahu ta'ala an would participate in the ghazawat with Prophet of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, meaning he would go in the battlefield with Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. He was steadfast at the time of allegiance, so Heb Rumi radiallahu an would remain present. And he would remain around Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was a special that how come is it possible that he is alive and enemy can come closer to Prophet of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam. And yes, the special was present in companions. Once enemy was getting closer to Prophet of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, then Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas came in front of Prophet of Allah to protect him. And he was extremely competent in arrow shooting. The beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would give arrows to Sa'ad radiallahu anhu. And while giving arrows he would say, O Sa'ad, shoot arrows. May my parents be sacrificed upon you. Imagine when Sayyidina Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas radiallahu ta'ala an would have heard these beautiful words. How much had he enjoyed the sweetness of these words of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. Shoot arrows. May my parents be sacrificed upon you. Can you imagine the state of his joy and happiness at that moment? Imagine, these are companions of the Prophet ﷺ. They had passion that until they were alive, they would not allow enemy to come even closer to Prophet ﷺ. Allah Taala had blessed Suhaib Rumi Taala an with generosity. He was generous. He would distribute his wealth amongst needy used to spread big dining mat for food so that travelers, needy, deserving and captives could come and eat food. So he used to make arrangements to feed them. In other words, he practiced upon the hadith of Rasulullah that all people spread the greetings of salam and feed others. When the assassination attack on Sayyidina Umar Farooq Azam radiallahu ta'ala an took place, then he radiallahu an appointed Suhaib Rumi to lead salah. And he radiallahu ta'ala an instructed to offer salah following him. And, and he departed from this mortal world in 38 after Hijri. He passed away and left this mortal world. May Allah shower mercy upon him and forgive us for his sake. So, I've just mentioned few faith refreshing dimensions of his seerah. Biography of Suhaib Rumi radiallahu an. His bravery, his passion, his steadfastness. First of all, search for truth, then adopting truth, then sacrificing wealth, even life for the truth. If Allah had blessed him with wealth, he also distributed amongst poor, needy, orphans, deserving people. He helped them through that. May Allah give us ability to follow his footsteps. May Allah wa ta'ala give us true love and devotion for Prophet of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This true love is prerequisite for the completion of one's faith, Iman. Jannat me leke jayegi Jannat me leke jayegi Chahat Rasool ki जन्नत में ले के जाएगी चाहत रसूल की सुन्नत रसूल की उल
الفت رسول کی کیوں کرنا میرے دل میں ہو الفت رسول کی جنت میں لے کے جائے گی جنت میں لے کے جائے گی چاہت رسول کی جنت میں لے کے جائے گی الفت رسول کی محبت رسول کی چاہت رسول کی سنت رسول کی صلو علی الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد Madani Channel We love Madani Channel